Royal kids, let's get up and get ready to worship. Come and clap with us. When night has fallen, when fear is coming, still you're calling me. When faith is lost and my hope exhausted, you will be mine. 
Mama Cat, and I am here today with my friends, my little toy Kit, my little toy Russ, and my little Mr. Fluffy Bottoms, the dinosaur, Rar. And I am here to bring a very important message, probably the most important message I could ever bring. Are you ready? The message is, God loves you. Right, I'm gonna say it again. God loves you. The creator of the whole universe loves you. As a matter of fact, one of my favorite verses in Romans 8:38 says, nothing can separate us from the love of God. Nothing. That reminds me of our favorite song, one of our favorite songs here at Royal Kids. There's nowhere I can hide, that you can't find me, nowhere I can go. That's right, nothing can separate us from the love of God, even if we hide. Do you like to play hide and seek? I love to play hide and seek. And so does Russ and Kit, and maybe Kit will hide behind the bush, and maybe Russ will hide behind the bookcase. 
and maybe Mr. Fluffy Bottoms will hide behind the house. But guess what? God can see them no matter where they are. That's right, and God can see you no matter where you are. And he loves you so much. I bet you can think of some pretty good places to hide when you play hide and seek. I have a friend that he hid so well, nobody could find him. Do you know where he was? He was in the garbage can. <sighs> it was so gross. It wasn't even a clean garbage can. It had old tuna cans, old banana peels. It was so disgusting in there, but nobody found him. And today's Bible story is about somebody who was hiding accidentally in an even worse place. It was really gross. But he wasn't hiding because he was playing hide and seek. He was hiding because he was trying to avoid something that he didn't want to do. Sometimes we do that. I remember when I was younger, sometimes I hid when I didn't want to go to the dentist. Have you ever done that? Sometimes I would even hide for other reasons. I remember one time I hid because I took something that didn't belong to me and I did not want to get caught. I was pretty ashamed, so I hid under my bed. There was another time that I hid because I was sad and I wanted to be alone. Do you ever feel like that? Well, our friend in our story today probably felt all of those things. And that's why he was hiding. He was trying to hide on a boat, but it didn't go so well. In the book of Jonah, we find his story. It's an amazing story because he was trying to avoid something that God wanted him to do. So he ran and hid. But when he was on the boat, something crazy started happening. There was a huge storm and the people on the boat threw him over into the ocean. Can you believe that? But it gets weirder. He then was swallowed by a huge fish. Have you heard this story before? It's pretty amazing. I'm gonna look it up. It is so crazy. You have to read the whole thing for yourself. It's in the book of Jonah, and I'm going to read chapter two, because when Jonah was in the belly of the well, he spoke to God. He prayed and God heard him. This is what it says. Then Jonah prayed to the Lord his God from inside the fish. I cried to my Lord in my great trouble and he answered me. I called to him from the land of the dead and the Lord heard me. The Lord heard him, even though he was in the belly of this great, stinky, gross fish, and things looked really bad, really, really bad. Well, if you want to find out what happens, you can read the rest of it in the book of Jonah. But let's think about that for a minute. God heard Jonah even if he was in the belly of a fish. Jonah could call out to him at any time. There was nowhere he could hide or go where God's love wouldn't find him. And even if Mr. Fluffy Bottoms was feeling ashamed and tried to hide, there's nowhere he could go that God can't find him. Even if Russ was feeling sad and tried to hide, there was nowhere he could go that God's love wouldn't find him. And even if Kit was really trying to avoid something and wanted to hide. There's nowhere she could go that God's love couldn't find her. I can pray even if things are bad. I can pray even if I feel bad and I know that God will hear me. So Royal Kids, I want you to stand up and I want you to get ready to shout after me. We're going to shout, God loves me. God sees me. God hears me. Great. Okay. We're going to do it again, even louder. Are you ready? 
Everyone get ready, warmed up. Here we go. God loves me. God sees me. God hears me. Isn't that amazing? Royal kids, let's pray. God, you are so good and your love is so big to find us wherever we are. Thank you for loving us. Thank you for seeing us. Thank you for hearing us. Help us to remember to cry out to you, for we know you will answer. We love you. In Jesus' name, amen. That was so fun, Royal Kids. We'll see you next time. Bye. Follow Vibe Worship Kids and stream it anytime from anywhere. Also available on iTunes and YouTube. Oh, oh, oh.